available and ready to go. We could see both of them today. We'll keep an eye on that first pass of the game from Louisiana Monroe will be a completion out at the 41 a pickup of 16 to R.J. Turner the man slinging it around the field today for the Warhawks Caleb Evans boy he is a dangerous guy yeah he comes in here with a dynamic offense he can throw it he can run it he's their leading rusher if they're going to have any success today he has to be the guy that gets it done will play action lost it up nice touch big hole in the middle of that defense and ULM already inside the 30. R.J. Turner again. They'll spot it down around the 28-yard line. That's a 31-yard pickup. Well, you see the aggressive call here early in the ball game. They throw it on both first plays of the game, and you see they're not afraid to throw the football down the field, putting the pressure on his Ole Miss defense already. But not today. Sun is out. It's a warm, warm day here in Oxford, Mississippi. Here's Austin Vaughn taking the little flip pass, and he'll have the first down out over the 32-yard line. Now, and he also just saw Tyler Knight, who last week was in running the football for the Rebels. And a big hit, but a catch by Marcus Green right around midfield, a gain of 18. But Kedron Smith, the freshman. And guess who he runs the route off? A Marty Linton. They run double move on him right off the bat, first play in the game. And Coach McGriff is excited about it. He said he's eager to see what he can do. And he said he will stick his face in there despite his size and make some tackles. On third down, big hole. Evans first down and a whole lot more. Inside the 25-yard line. Armani Linton will run him out of bounds, but not before Evans picks up 21 yards. And here's the first time we get the chance to see Evans in open space, use his athleticism to get down the field. They had a lot of stuff happening before the play even started. So those guys would just walk into the indoor <laughs> facility and they'd do the handshake. It was crazy. And the one we didn't see was Don had created one of our own. Well, speaking of that. Much less 20 different handshakes. <laughs> do, do you still remember it now, Dip? Don? No, the I don't. He tried to do it pregame. Don't remember it already. <laughs> well, we, we, it's on tape, so you can go back and review, do your own film study. Evans picks up 18 on the carry. I like Caleb Evans. He's uh, he's an exceptional athlete back there. He's got big arm, 6'2", 215 pounds. Leads the team in rushing. This time he'll hand it off to Derek Gord. Derek down to the 25-yard line. Undisciplined play there. Here's Gore. He will get it into the end zone. So that roughing the passer looms large for Ole Miss as Derek Gore takes it in from 11 yards out. To this rush of Ole Miss, but they got to throw the football down the field so there will be more five-man protection calls. Credit for what they did in this game. Ole Miss has really done a great job of creating some bad plays for Caleb Evans and this ULM offense. Boy, nice tight spiral on that punt that will hit it to two. That is about as good as you can do it right there. Mac Brown pins Ole Miss back at the two-yard line with 107 to go before halftime. Excuse me, Jared Porter with the punt. That is perfectly placed. Fourth down. So a punt by the Warhawks. Back to return it is Elijah Moore. He'll catch it at about the 17 and hit right there. But a flag comes in as well. 49-yard punt. They've struggled offensively. Has not been able to block Ole Miss up front. Evans lofts it up, has a man, passes caught. R.J. Turner inside the 20. Line drive kick. Very returnable for Marcus Green, who had four return kicks a year ago. Tied for first in the country. Can he have one here in 2018? Yes, he will. 70 yards. 
We talked about Marcus Green earlier. We talked about how explosive he can be. We talked about what he brings to this team. And you just, it was set up pretty well. But Ole Miss on this left side, they have one guy on the left side at hash, and that's just not going to get it. And Marcus Green versus the kicker. Nine times out of ten, he's going to win that, and he won it today. Big return by Marcus Green. Coming back home, he'll have something to be excited about today off that big punt return for a touchdown. Back pocket for his Vanderbilt Commodores. Corral, nowhere to go, and he gets down on the turf. Linton and take him over to the defensive side when you need that type of help. Oh, Swinney is tossed to the turf by Darian Ford. And like you mentioned, 233 pounds. You know he can handle the pounding of taking some hits here and there when he's running. Nice throw. Hits this mark. That pass is caught by Carter down around the 8-yard line. A 39-yard pickup. And you're talking about dropping it in the bucket right there. What a perfect throw, Kobe coming in. And he said, yeah, Jordan Tamu and Matt Corral, I could throw it as well. <laughs> Broken tackle there. That'll get Colby Suits out of bounds with 444 to play in this one, a gain of 12. But you can't have the, the two where you in conference and things didn't go right for you. Suits. He'll have the first down on a fourth down at about six. He picks up seven. So Ole Miss is going to sweep through their non-conference slate. This is a team that started with Texas Tech in Houston. They win that by 20. Then they had a shootout with Southern Illinois. They win 76-41. And they beat Kent State 38-17 a couple of weeks ago. Jackson with the reception. Suits to the end zone. Touchdown. Zach Jackson. The red shirt freshman out of Grand Prairie, Texas.